हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अवर वीडियो दट इज किंगडम एनिमेलिया टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फाइलम खॉडेटा फाइलम खॉडेटा इज ए वेल डेवलप्ड फाइलम विच इज हैविंग ए वेल डेवलप्ड एनिमल्स वी विल डिस्कस इन दि क्लासेस एंड द फाइलम कॉडेटा was evolved from hemichordates and hemichordates evolved from echinoderms echinoderms evolved from mollusks mollusks evolved from annelids and arthropods also evolved from annelids annelids evolved from askelmenthes askelmenthes evolved from platyhelminthes platyhelminthes organisms evolved from tenophores and tenophores evolved from nidarians nidarians evolved from poriferans poriferans evolved from protists and protists evolved from monirans okay i have given a picture that is evolution occurred in the animals let me discuss about phylum chordata what is meant by chordata chordata is a word that is a greek word in that greek word there are two words chorda plus eta chord plus eta chord means a hard rod like structure hard and rod like structure present on the dorsal side and eta means bearing or having or presence so the presence of notochord or hard like structure on the dorsal body is called notochord so based on the notochord animals are grouped as chordates so phylum chordata is having a special characteristics that is the characters of phylum chordata in this phylum there are fundamental characteristics like presence of notochord and presence of dorsal tubular nerve cord a third character is presence of pharyngeal gill slits and fourth one presence of tail on the posterior region of the anus like post anal tail so these are the four fundamental characteristics in phylum chordata like presence of notochord dorsal tubular nerve cord pharyngeal gill slits post anal tail so let me discuss about the notochord dorsal tubular nerve cord pharyngeal gill slits and post anal tail or the characteristics present in which area of the organisms yeah. due to the course of evolution suppose in the embryonic stage of the chordates or in the animals 
we can observe like zygote will undergo a cleavage cleavage undergo a morula morula undergo a blastula blastula undergo a gastrula then gastrula undergo a gastrulation that is the formation of uh, three primary germ layers like ectoderm mesoderm and an endoderm this ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm will give rise to so many organs of the animal's body so during that course of development of embryo the ectoderm will give us a notochord ectoderm will give us the nerve cord whereas the mesoderm will give us notochord notochord is developed from mesoderm first of all the notochord was developed during the course of embryo genesis then mesoderm will give meshes to ectoderm to form remaining germ layers like nerve cord etc so the notochord is present in between the nerve cord and the alimentary canal in the animals suppose this is an animal belongs to chordate for example this is a fish in this animal we can observe this structure complete this structure the hard sponge like material present in between the the outer layer outer structure that is nerve cord and below the notochord there is a alimentary canal so the notochord is originated from mesoderm this could be asked in the neat examination uh, like they will ask like this the origin of uh, the notochord from the options they can be asked options like uh, ectoderm endoderm mesoderm all the above yes we can give the answer mesoderm is the correct answer then <coughs> the notochord in the notochord is present in almost all chordates chordates are the animals let me discuss chordates chordates are the animals can be classified into two groups that is a craniata and craniata the animals in which animals the cranium that is a bony box is absent they are called as a craniata in which animals the bony box is present they are the craniates suppose a craniates are the organisms which is further classified into protochordates cephalochordates a craniates are also called as protochordates these protochordates further classified into two groups that is urochordate the second one cephalochordates and craniates craniata means presence of bony box presence of bony box in this craniata the animals can be classified into two categories like a neta 
and second one netos tomato ye neto means jawless organisms jawless organisms and netos tomato means jawed organisms jawed chordates or jawed vertebrates so now come to urochordates urochordates means if the notochord is extended from this is anterior region this is posterior region if the notochord is extended from tail to middle part of the animal this is called urochordate that means the notochord is extended from middle to tail region is called urochordates example for this botrylus oikoflora hedmeria etc are the organisms like acraniates or primitive chordates like botrylus hedmeria and oikoflora were included in the urochordates then cephalochordates cephalo means head chordates means notochord if the notochord is extended if the notochord is extended from tail to head region tail to head region this is a notochord uh, if the notochord is extended from tail to head region this is called cephalochordate cephalo means head chordates means notochord example for this amphiaxis and these are also called as lancelets then coming to the craniata craniata means presence of bony box or skull in this group there are two types of organisms were included some animals do not have jaw and most of the animals will have jaws if those do not have jaw are called as jawless vertebrates and these jawless vertebrates are the animals called as cyclostomes cyclostomes example for cyclostomes mixin that means cyclostomes means cyclo round circle stoma means mouth they will have a rounded mouth so the rounded mouth do not have jaws like our upper jaw and lower jaw the upper jaw and lower jaw are present in the developed animals in these animals like cyclostomes the jaws are completely absent they will have only round mouth and animal will look like this in this round mouth there are mouth parts and they will suck the blood uh, sorry food from the surrounding medium okay next netos tomato netos tomato netos tomato means presence of jaws in this group animals are classified into two groups like pisces all fishes were included in the pisces and in in this group that is in pisces they do not have limbs they will have only fins for locomotion so based on locomotor organs the netostomes were classified into two groups like fins organisms like pisces and those are having limbs are called as tetrapoda tetra means four poda means legs if they will have four limbs to move to walk to run to jump they are called as tetrapods
okay pisces in this tetrapoda there are four limbs are present first the pisces the pisces further classified into two categories if the pisces means fishes if fish endoskeleton is made up of with the cartilage they could be called as cartilaginous fishes cartilaginous fishes example scoliodon that is shark simply call it as commonly shark in the sharks the endoskeleton is made up of with the cartilage only and in the second group of fishes are called as bony fishes so cartilaginous fishes are also called as chondrichthys and bony fishes are also called as osteichthys example for this all edible fishes next coming to the tetrapoda in this group they will have only four limbs for walking running flying jumping etc for example all frogs were included in the group amphibia example frogs and the second one is reptilia example snakes lizards crocodiles etc and third one the animals like aves like birds were included in the aves example birds and finally our gels that is mammals that is mammalia mammalia includes all mammary glanded animals like mammals we will discuss elaborately in the next videos why i am discussing all this in this topic means the animals like uh, protocardids like uh, urocardid cephalocardid then pisces like cartilaginous fishes bony fishes frogs like amphibia reptiles aves and mammals so what are the fundamental characteristics are found in these animals so coming to the first page yeah we are in this topic the phylum chordata includes the animals which we discussed till now all these animals are having notochord dorsal tubular nerve cord pharyngeal gill slits and post anal tail but there is a, a little bit confusion we have to open that confusion the notochord notochord is a rod like structure which is pre present on the dorsal side of the organism and below the nerve cord as well as uh, above the alimentary canal or in between the alimentary canal as well as nerve cord this notochord is persistent or permanent in lower chordates example in protochordates and in the larval stages of amphibia also and in the larval stages of fishes also so once again you have to remember this word notochord is permanent or persistent they can be used the persistent the word in the examination present in the lower chordates like protochordates and larval forms of fish
fishes and amphibia larval forms of amphibia and in the embryo of all chordates this is very very important every embryo of chordate will have a notochord then the notochord can be replaced with the vertebral column so notochord is replaced with vertebral column in adults okay this is also very very important for need purpose then second point dorsal tubular nerve cord already we told which is located on dorsal side and it is a tubular nerve cord this tubular nerve cord is a hollow i will show you picture yeah so this is a nerve cord this nerve cord is located on the dorsal side of the body and above the notochord the nerve cord in the chordates is hollow hollow tubular single whereas in invertebrates yeah they have given here see we can see uh, the nerve cord is dorsal in chordates for example dorsal hollow and single whereas in non chordates or invertebrates this is located on ventral side that is on the front side solid like this pen which is not having a a hollow structure and it is double ventral nerve cord double with ganglia also okay right this is also important point for the need purpose and the nerve cord in the chordates can be replaced with the anteriorly brain and posteriorly spinal cord in the adults the third point the third point is pharyngeal gill slits the pharyngeal gill slits are located on the pharynx region and these are paired and these are the slits for the respiration that these pharyngeal gill slits are also present in the embryonic stage or in the larval stage and these are permanent in some organisms lower chordates and these structures can be replaced with the lungs and lastly post anal tail the tail can be present in the lower and in the embryonic stage and can be absent in the adult stage in the some of the animals and it is present in the animals apart from this the all chordates will exhibit bilateral symmetry triploblastic animals u coelomates like entrocoelomates next characteristic the heart is located on the ventral side and these are the uh, and also will exhibit metamerism that is seg true segmentation present inside the body so these are the the characteristics of the phylum chordata and we will discuss elaborately about classification of phylum chordata in the next video thank you for watching